Which, you know, announced in what year? 07, I think? 08? Uh, May 08? Yeah, something like that. That sounds more right. This was a really, like, different Blackberry than anything we've seen before. It was bigger and wider and had a really awesome keyboard. Um, and I don't have the password for it, but that's okay. Then from there, we went to the Blackberry Bull 9700, which went back to a smaller size, more like the Curve 8900. So you can see how those kind of changed. Then we, had, we got the 9780 on GSM. That's, uh, that's my phone, of course. And then uh, with the new 9900 announced right now, BlackBerry 7, you can see this little migration. Obviously, we haven't mentioned the Tour and, and the Bull 9650 up here on the CDMA side. So I just wanted to show that it's kind of like Rimmit did a lot of good things on the 9000. They went a little smaller, but now they're back to like the masterpiece. And look at the difference in thickness here. When they say this is the thinnest Blackberry to date, they mean it. Look at that difference. The 9000 is so much thicker in comparison. And now how about that keyboard? People want to know, is it the exact same keyboard? Is this truly a better keyboard? Because this keyboard, people love yeah. the 9000. So let me tell you, the keyboard is modeled after the 9000, but the keyboard on the 9900 is actually 6% bigger. So you've got a slight increase in the size of the keyboard, but you've still got that fretted, uh, fretted keyboard that helps you find the keys more easily. The keys are really nicely sculpted, so you can um, you know, be assured that you're going to find the key that you're looking for. Um, Really fast, really easy, uh, but it's you know the same kind of uh, design. Uh, this has proven to be really, really popular amongst a lot of people. They like you know the form factor, they like the size of it, um, you know, they like the screen size of it. But as Kevin said, you know we've made it 10.5 millimeters, so it's the thinnest BlackBerry.